So this is home for the weekend. The Glenbrook Yurt on the Potawatomi Trail in Pinckney. I've always wanted to, to rent a yurt here, actually. I've seen it every time I've hiked the, the Potawatomi or the Waterloo Trail. And uh, there's a run called Run Woodstock put on by Running Fit. And uh, this is actually one of the aid stations that you pass on the, on the loop. It's the ultra marathon. But uh, man, it's a beautiful day. And as you can see, if you came here with a kayak or paddleboard, there's a channel that leads out to the lake and there's direct access to the lake right in front of the yurt. There's a nice little deck surrounding the whole thing and they've got like a little table set up for you. There's a barbecue grill, a picnic table, you got your fire pit, some really nice chairs. <clears throat> The sound of spring, it's my favorite. And this little quarter mile road uh, leads right to the trailhead. And you can hop on the 17 and a half mile uh, Potawatomi Trail, which also has some shortcuts to reduce that mileage if you don't want to hike that far. And here is the inside of the yurt. Just got my little cooler since I'm only here for the weekend. Got a nice little bunk bed. Uh, a fold-out cot, and of course more storage space, little table, happy campers live here. Also, uh, here's our, our first friend that, that we've made. This is, uh, this is Bill. He'll be sleeping with me tonight. And this is fun. There's a little guest book. I'm going to have to look at my glove box and make sure I have a, a pen so I can leave a doodle and a little account of uh, my adventures here. Well, it's already after 4 p.m., so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get everything set up and then hit the trail and come back and have myself a fire and a beer. Anyways, that's my little tour of the Glenbrook Yurt. Have a wonderful camp life. Bill and I had a little disagreement about uh, who's making breakfast in the morning, so... Now we've, uh, he's going to be sleeping outside tonight. Come on, Bill. Ooh. He is, uh... He's in there. Yeah. He refuses to leave. He wants an apology. He he wants to make amends. Wow. Stubborn. Oh my goodness. That is a clingy spider. See, this is why we can't have a relationship. You're too clingy. There we go. Off you go, buddy. So earlier I said uh, the road leads to the trailhead. There's actually a trail right behind the yurt um, that leads right to the main trail. So, easy peasy. Just made it to the Blind Lake campground. Not a single soul here. I mean, I guess not too surprising. Well, no, it is surprising. It's Friday. And it's a beautiful day. Um, Check-in is at 4 o'clock, and it's... 547. I'm actually really surprised not to see anyone here. Um, pro tip, I mean, if you're staying at this campground, site five, and what is this, uh, four over here, and site four, so it looks like site three, it would all be really great spots right on the water. This is uh, a nice, small little campground. If you're into the more rustic thing, which I definitely am. It's not camping. 
if you're parked in a giant RV next to a million other RVs and screaming children, that is not camping to me. I mean, some people might beg to differ, but hey, we all have our thing. I like peace and quiet. Ooh. Morel. I love all this new growth just starting to pop up. All right, it's 618 now and sunset today is at 818. Um, I've been hiking about an hour and 37 minutes. So I think I'm getting pretty close to my turnaround point. My idea is I'd like to get back to camp uh, with at least like 10, 15 minutes of sunlight to make dinner and get a fire started. Although I do have my headlamp with me and some extra batteries just in case. But uh should be getting in a pretty solid nine or ten miles um, and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna try and do a trail run golden hour my favorite time of day so if you're ever hiking this trail I mean this is about what to expect it's moderate ups, moderate downs, rocks and roots. And it's a pretty good trail. It's not hard, but I wouldn't say it's easy either. There's a fair bit of elevation. I haven't been out here on my mountain bike yet. I, uh, I reckon it's a bit of a beast. Used to trails like DTE are smooth. All right, it's about 7.05, and I've hiked a little over seven and a quarter miles, and I've got about an hour and 10 minutes before sundown, and uh, two miles to go. What do you think caused that? Lightning? Didn't look burnt. Got about a mile and a quarter to go.
Well, that's it. Home sweet home. Nine miles on the button. And let's see, what time is it? 7.36. So I've got about 40 minutes of light. Just perfect. I can make myself some dinner, open up a beer, and get a fire started. And uh, go to sleep, wake up early, and do it all over again. You know, normally I'm tent camping at a campsite, but uh, I've got to admit, this is pretty nice too. <laughs> this is kind of like the uh, the mansion of camping, I guess. Veggie Karma and Meatless Sloppy Joe, that's what's for dinner. And some Blake's uh, strawberry lemonade. This stuff is so good. It is like the taste of summer. I'm just getting my fire started. <sighs> it's going to be a nice relaxing evening. After a pretty nice hike. Yep. This is my happy place. And with that, good night. Time to rise and shine. Look at all that fog coming off the lake. Well, I think I'm going to get breakfast and coffee started. Oh, my head feels like a balloon this morning. My ears feel like they need to pop. Sun is officially up. Oats and coffee, and a little bit of leftover curry. Seems like a pretty good way to start the day. Well, I gave it a little bit of time to see if the sinus pressure would go away. My head still feels like a balloon, um, but it doesn't seem to be going away. So uh, I'm just going to suck it up and uh, get out on a run. Um, my phone's gonna be packed away in my uh, <laughs> little camel back there, so I probably won't be doing any videos on the trail. But uh, see you when I get back. Just got back from my trail run and uh, changed into something comfy. I wanted to do the whole 17 and a half miles, but once I got to that shortcut and knew I was only a quarter mile away from the yurt, uh, I had a real hard time uh, not just coming straight back. So. Uh, trail half marathon it is. Um, I've also got a new guest. Check out this little dude. Oh, I just took a picture of myself. All right, don't want to freak him out. Anyways, how cool is that? A great tree frog. <clears throat> well... Uh, I think I'm going to get lunch started, and uh, my wife and her friend should be showing up here uh, in about an hour or so. So, it'll be another nice, relaxing evening. Make some food, have another beer, have another fire. That's what it's all about. Bye! Just in case you were questioning whether or not this was actually a tree frog. Yes, definitely a tree frog. I want to sing focus. 
Oh, come on. There we go. See, check out this little dude. So cool. So one thing that's really great about this trail, even if you're hiking the whole thing, um, there's water pumps like this at the Glenbrook Ear, at the Green Lake campsite, and at the Blind Lake campsite. And uh, there's one right at the trailhead by the Silver Lake parking lot too. So if you're backpacking and staying at a couple different campsites, you don't really have to worry about water filtration. Um, as long as you have like, yourself like a two liter uh, water reservoir, I mean, that should get you by between uh, water pumps easily. <clears throat> and my wife and her friend are about five minutes out, so I'm heading up to the swing gate to unlock it for them. I am so friggin' stiff. I'm glad I didn't end up... Oh, that, 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 that didn't sound right. My legs are stiff. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I did not end up running the whole 17. Uh, that would be... That would be self-inflicted torture. <clears throat> Gotta work back up to it. I've only done one 17-mile run this year, and that was completely flat. Yeah, so like I said, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a walk up to that swing gate actually, about a quarter of a mile. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, there's like a van parked up there. The people will park at the gate and uh, hop on the trail because uh, the yurt's right on the shortcut for the Potawatomi Trail. Doing things right, little little rainbow seeker. Not uh, not sponsored by Blake's, I promise. But they, I just love their shit. It's so good. <clears throat> I like sweet and fruity. So uh, yeah, my wife and I have totally opposite tastes. She likes gin and tonic and like seltzer water. I don't get it. Looks like they might be here already. Anyways, I'm not going to make you walk this whole thing with me. Things are getting intense at the Glenbrook Ear. Make sure you get the good set on my butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is uh, it's mighty impressive. Oh, come on. Jesus. All right, looks like I'm going to be the one to make this thing fall. Are you for real right now? In the middle, yeah. Smart move. Whatever. <laughs> Are you serious? This shouldn't even be possible. I think I'm up next, so. Yeah, I know. But I don't... <laughs> you, you do understand how gravity works, right? Because <laughs> where is that going to go? Just, it, it's just, not... Let her do it. Just do it. This will be great. Just get it over with. Damn it. Listen, <laughs> at a pretty strong game up until this point. An excellent game. It's over now. It's, it is over.
<laughs> Jenga! <laughs>Last night uh, was a pretty good success. Had a huge fire until about 11 and uh, went to bed and had a solid night's sleep. Didn't wake up until 6.30 when all the birds started going off. So that was awesome. And uh, now I'm just hiking the remainder of the trail uh, that I missed from taking the shortcut. So that'll uh, give me a nice little six mile Sunday and then uh, pack up and head home. Never trust a fart when you're out on the trail, especially when you've been eating curry for three days in a row. We call this area Jurassic Park. This fence is clearly here to keep out the velociraptors.